yesterday. Let's not use the passive tense. I castrated Brownie yesterday. And I've basically finished milking, but I'm just letting him out at the last to get her to let her milk down a little more for me and then let him start getting his fill of milk. I'm going to try to feel his head and see if he has horn stubs there. Gosh, I think he... Come on, bud, let me feel your head. I think he's pulled. Brownie is pulled. That means he doesn't have any horns. Now, I'm questioning myself because I've never felt a pulled calf. But I know what little horn stubs feel like, and there's no horn stubs. There's nothing, and he's two months old. He should have little bumps. We've got a pulled calf. That's exciting. That's actually a blessing. It means no more painful procedures. We got a lot of comments on our castration video yesterday. And I'm okay with people being upset. This is, this is farm life. You know, we're learning all this, but what we're doing is just normal stuff out here in the farm. I'm really okay with people expressing all their varied opinions in the comment section as long as they're polite. I will say if you're a militant vegan who believes it's completely morally wrong to kill animals ever at all, this channel may not be the place for you. But everyone's welcome, vegans, vegetarians, as long as everyone's respectful. But I'm gonna spray that with iodine here while he's standing there. All right, I better get Dolly out of here. She is getting antsy standing in the stanchion. I'm gonna take this last little bit of milk out here and see if these little piggies could be interested in it. Little piggies, little piggies. You guys and gals are so curious. So curious. They're checking out that container of milk, but they haven't figured out that it's anything good to eat or drink yet. They don't seem too interested in that milk right now. I guess that's because they have plenty of milk from their mom. Looky here. I told you about these two chickens yesterday, but I've never really filmed them doing their thing <laughs> and here they are they've gotten out of the garden fence this morning and they're down here Bonnie and Clyde there's Clyde and here's Bonnie they're just so youthful and just always roaming around side by side I know what I'm gonna do I think I'll put a little dry pig food in with that milk and see if I can get those babies to eat it. Oh, put it right there. Now I'm setting up the pig cam, which will look at the pigs in their natural surrounding. So, oh, that's not gonna work. So while I've got the pig trail cam set up in the barn here, trying to catch the pigs eating on film. All the pigs are out here eating alongside their mom. They're like, no big deal, we'll just gobble this down. We'll eat your little treat later. Uh, not all of them, two are over there, but they were eating. I put the cows hay up here in the cleaner grass for a reason. It's because Brownie likes to sit in the hay once they've eaten a lot of it, 
and I'm just trying to keep him as clean as possible. He's a pretty clean little calf. I just don't want his wound from castration to get infected. And it is some soggy weather. Not the best weather for having an open wound. I'm gonna open this door and the goats are gonna run out and run straight to the milking stanchion and make sure Dolly didn't leave any treats. No, she didn't leave much for you. Let's see if we can get Bonnie and Clyde and the ducks who are out now back into their fence. Chicky, 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 chicky. Bonnie is leading out. Clyde is right behind her. And the ducks are making their slow, waddly way up the hill. Chicky, 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 chicky. Here's my makeshift gate at the garden. Works pretty well. Morning, Donald! He's very cautious. He doesn't usually go straight to eating if he feels threatened by you. See, he's just kind of on guard. He's not going straight for it like the ducks and the chickens. So there's Bonnie, and Clyde is right over there. If you notice, he has a tuft of white feathers on his head. Donald, do you know where that came from? Clyde looks okay, and Donald hasn't attacked anyone like he did once or twice last spring. To our knowledge, he hasn't done that recently. But we'll be keeping an eye on that situation. Beep, beep, beep. This wagon's been a real lifesaver. Going from the house to the barn with all of our milking stuff. The kids have used it to haul firewood. I'm heading back to the house right now. Guess what? We're sick again. Bree and Bright Boy are quite sick. I kind of got cut off in finishing the rest of my video the other day and didn't wrap it up. The last shot was the last thing I shot. Um, Bree is better, quite a bit better from being sick, as is Brighton, which is great. I just wanted to touch on Brownie being pulled once more. What does that mean? That means just naturally, genetically, he doesn't have horns, and I am just tickled because I don't have to cause any more pain or suffering for him this week. This right here is a disc budding iron and you basically plug it in and the tip gets really hot. I can't remember how hot, very hot, red hot. And you burn around the tips of the calves horns so that the horns will just shrivel up and fall off. It is in some ways controversial maybe among um, small scale animal producers um, because some people think, oh, they should just have horns. But I was planning on disbudding him. So this has been another great day in the homestead and we're feeling better. Well, Bree and the baby are feeling better, which is a huge, huge blessing. We've been outside a bunch today. It is just gloriously beautiful. The rain has stopped temporarily and the sun is shining and the sky is blue. It's a really pretty day. Thank you all so much for joining us and we'll see you next video.